You made the moon to mark the months. The sun knows the time for its setting. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, have mercy. For peace from in high, for this salvation for our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church, and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Holy Father, Francis, Papa Brown, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our most reverend metropolitan, willing for good loving bishops, for the venerable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sake of this offering, the captain, for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And whom we praise, we bless, we thank you, and we pray to you, Master of all and loving Lord. Let our prayer rise like incense before you, and do not let our hearts be turned to evil words or thoughts, but deliver us from all that might ensnare our souls. For to you, Lord, O oh Lord, our eyes are turned, and in you we hope. Let us not be put to shame, O our God. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due glory, honor, and worship now and ever and forever. Amen. Those who put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, that cannot be shaken, that stands forever. Jerusalem, the mountains surround her, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just. For fear that the hands of the just should turn to evil. Do good, Lord, to those who are good, to the upright of heart. But the crooked in those who do evil drive them away on Israel peace. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips where there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. If the Lord does not build a house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. 
O oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quivers with these arrows, he will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. By the, the labor of your hands shall you eat. You will be happy and prosper, your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house, your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the day of your life. May you see your children's children on Israel peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. O Lord, I have cried to you, hear me. Hear me, O Lord. O Lord, I have cried to you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call. Let my prayer ascend to you like incense, and the lifting up of my hands like an evening sacrifice. He hear me, O Lord. O Lord, set a guard before my mouth, and set a seal on the door of my lips. Let not my heart be inclined to evil, nor make excuses for the sins I commit. Let me never share in sinners' feasting. If a just man strikes or reproves me, it is kindness. But let the oil of the wicked not anoint my head. Let my prayer be ever against their malice. The princes were thrown down by the side of the rock. Then they understood that my words were kind. As the millstone is shattered to pieces on the ground, so their bones were strewn at the mouth of the grave. To you, Lord God, my eyes are turned. To you I take refuge, spare my soul. From the trap they have laid for me, keep me safe. Keep me from the snares of those who do evil. Let the wicked fall into the traps they have set, while I pursue my way unharmed. With all my voice I cry to the Lord, with all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour out my trouble before him, I tell him all my distress, while my spirit faints within me. But you, O Lord, know my path, on the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see, there is no one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I have said you are my refuge, all I have in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble, because of your goodness to me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, you would survive. But with you is found forgiveness, for this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord, I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchman for daybreak. Let the watchman count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord. How shall I enter unworthy as I am? 
into the splendor of your holy place. If I dare to go along into the bridal chamber, my clothing will condemn me, for it is not wedding attire, and I will be bound and cast out by the angels. Purify my filthy soul, O Lord, and save me, for you love us all. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption, Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. My slothful soul has been asleep, O bridegroom Christ, and I have not acquired a torch of flame with virtues. Like the foolish virgins I wandered when it was time to act, do not close your compassionate heart to me, O Master. Shake off my torpid slumber and raise me up. Together with the wise virgins, lead me into your bridal chamber, where the sound of chaste feasting never ceases and they cry out glory to you, O Lord. Praise the Lord, all you nations, acclaim him, all you peoples. Come, you faithful, let us work eagerly for the Master, for he distributes his wealth to his servants, let each of us increase the talent of grace according to the measure we have received. Let one gain wisdom by doing good. Let another by celebrating the liturgy with beauty. Let one share the word of faith with the uninstructed. Let another distribute his wealth to the poor. So shall we bear interest on the loan like faithful stewards and show ourselves worthy of the Master's gracious joy. Make us worthy of his joy. O Christ our God, for you love us all. Strong is the love of the Lord for us. He is faithful forever. When you come with the angelic powers in glory, seated, O Jesus, on your judgment throne, do not separate me from those on your right, O good shepherd. For you know that those on the left have turned away from you. Do not destroy me with the goat's course in my sin, but number me among the sheep at your right hand, and save me in your love for all of us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Oh, my soul, behold the Master and trust you with a talent. Receive the gift with fear and make a profit for the giver. Give to the hungry and acquire the Lord's friendship so that you may stand at his right when he comes in glory, and you may hear his blessed words. Enter, my servant, into the joy of your Lord. Although I have stayed, make me worthy of this joy, O Savior, for the sake of your power. 
wisdom, a reading from Job. Let us be attentive. At that time, once again, the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence do you come? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From roaming the earth and patrolling it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you noticed my servant Job, and that there is no one on earth like him, faultless and upright, fearing God and avoiding evil? He still holds fast to his innocence, although you incited me against him to ruin him without cause. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, all that a man has will he give for his life. But now put forth your hand and touch his bone and his flesh, and surely he will blaspheme you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, He is in your power, only spare his life. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with severe boils from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. And Job took a potsherd to scrape himself as he sat among the ashes. Then his wife said to him, Are you still holding to your innocence? Curse God and die. But Job said to her, Are even you going to speak as senseless women do? We accept good things from God, and should we not accept evil? Through all this, Job said nothing sinful. Peace be to you, reader.
and master of my life. Spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, lust for power, and idle chatter. Instead, bestow on me, your servant, the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Wisdom, let us then listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Now let us be attentive. The Lord said to his disciples, Of the day and hour when the Son of Man will come, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark. And did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be riding at the mill. One will be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you do not know that our, your Lord, is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not accept, expect. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his master made ruler over his household to give them food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Assuredly I say to you that he will make him ruler over all his goods. But if that evil servant says in his heart, My master is delaying his comings and begins to bid his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him and at an hour that he is not aware of and will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be like, likened it to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise, and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their, lam them their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, 
Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country, who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise he who, who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also had received two talents, came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faith faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid, and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what you what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposit deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming I would have received back my own with interest. Therefore take the talent from him, and give it to him who has ten talents. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness, there will be weeping gnashing of teeth. When the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the holy angels with Him, then He will sit on the throne of His glory. All the nations will be gathered before Him, and He will separate them one from another, as the shepherd div divides his sheep from the goats. And He will set the sheep on His right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the King will say to those on His right hand, Come, you blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and gave you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly I say to you, Inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me. You cursed into the everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger and you did not take me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me, sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer him, saying, Lord, 
When did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison, and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, saying, Assuredly I say to you, inasmuch as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And this will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Now it came to pass, when Jesus had, had finished all this saying, that he said to his disciples, You know that after two days is the Passover, and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. And I would like to say thank you so much to all of you that you are united this evening with us in the prayer. That you are praying this evening this divine liturgy of the presentified gifts this evening with us. Thank you so much. This evening we celebrate the divine liturgy of the presentified gifts for the great and holy Tuesday. And also this evening, as we could hear, we have a wonderful, well belong, but wonderful reading from the Gospel of St. Matthew. Yesterday and today we have these readings, you know, this, these last instructions of Jesus Christ to his disciples. How we could, you know, notice today's reading, we can split in a couple parts. The first part is one more time, Jesus, Jesus Christ is reminding, you know, to his disciples, or telling to his disciples, you know, about the last days. And after Jesus Christ, he compares, you know, through the parables, you know, he would like, not compares by you, and he would like to explain them, you know, what it means, the kingdom of God, the heaven, and also how disciples and all of us who are listening to this, to this gospel, this, we can be, we can inherit the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ he gives us, you know, this evening, Three parables. One parable is about ten women. Five of them were wise, and other five, how gospel says, were foolish. Five of them they had, you know, they they have had that oil with them, and other nothing. Second parable, Jesus Christ, you know, he compares kingdom, you know, to the laborers. And he says, you know, all of those laborers receive talents, have received the talents. Somebody a little bit more, like five. Somebody like only one. And the third parable, Jesus Christ, he says, you know, when he will come in his glory, you will separate, separate people, one on the right hand, another to the left. And he says, those who on the right, you know, he says, you came to visit me when I was in prison, when I was sick, when I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was naked, you gave me cloth. Come into my kingdom. And those on the left side, 
To them he says, When I was hungry, you didn't feed me. When I was thirsty, you didn't give me drink. When I was in prison, you didn't come to visit me. When I was sick, you didn't come to visit me. When I was naked, you didn't give me anything. And all these three moments, three parables, you know, we can put together and we can understand something really important. That how we can inherit the kingdom of God. That oil, what wise women they had, we can compare to love. That love, what those women they had to bridegroom, they were waiting for him with love. Those talents, we can also compare, you know, to our talents, what we have. All of us, you know, we're unique. All of us, we are unique, and you cannot find, you know, two, two same persons in this world. All of us, we are unique. And all of us, we have unique talents. And all those talents, you know, they're given to us by God that we could use them. How we can use them to help to other, to help to other people who are in need. Where's maybe somebody hungry and maybe he needs, you know, my help or somebody is naked and he needs my help or somebody is thirsty. He needs my help. And all my talents, you know, I have to use to serve to my people, to serve to my neighbor. But among all those talents, but all of us, we have different talents. We have one unique talent. But all of us, we have. And it's given to us by God. And that talent also is wow. All of us, we have the talent here, in our hearts. And especially in these days, you know, let's open our hearts. And with love, let's wait, in, you know, for the coming of Christ. For His resurrection. With love, let's serve Him. And with love, with that unique talent, what we have, all of us we have, just we have to open up our hearts, you know, and serve the people. And to see in my neighbor, not my enemy, but my brother or sister. As to Jesus. Wow. As you love yourself. And love God. With all your heart. <clears throat> Let us all say with our, 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 our whole soul and with our whole mind. Let us say. Almighty God of our fathers, we pray, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we 
pray for every Holy Father, Francis, Papa Franca, for Most Reverend Metropolitan Will, and for God loving bishops, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for every government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the healing of those who are suffering and curing the outbreak of sickness of this coronavirus. And for all those who are working for the means to help the spread of this disease, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the blessed repose, for those who have fallen asleep because of the sickness of coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who are integrated in abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us complete our evening prayer.
to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious and present divine gifts placed before us, the dear God who loves us all, may receive them in his holy, heavenly, mystical altars and aroma, spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us the return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. That we may deliver from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. That this holy evening be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o For an angel of peace, a faithful God and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For a Christian, painless and a shame, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for a communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O oh God of mysteries beyond human thought and vision, and you are hid in the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. You have revealed to us the service of this liturgy, and in your great love have appointed us sinners to offer gifts and sacrifices for our sins and for the people's failings. O invisible King, you perform wonders that cannot be fathomed, and miracles that cannot be counted. Look upon us, your unworthy servants, as we stand before this holy altar, as before your cherubic throne, where your only begotten Son and our God is present in these awesome mysteries here before us. Deliver us and your faithful people from every impurity. Sanctify our souls and bodies with a holiness that cannot be taken away, that we may partake of these holy gifts with a pure conscience, without shame and with an enlightened heart. As we are given life by them, may we be united with your Christ himself, our true God, who said, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. With Christ, your word living in us and walking among us, O Lord, may we become a temple of your all holy and adorable spirit, rescued from every trap of the devil, said in deed or word or thought, together with all your saints who have been pleasing to you since time began. May we obtain the promised blessings and make us worthy a master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation our holy Father, God of heaven, and say. expecting your abundant mercy. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy good and life reading spirit, now and ever, and forever. Let us be at 
tempted. Holy present if I gives to holy people. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you kisses to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. <clears throat> o Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive <clears throat> is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. <clears throat> Blessed is our God, who enlightens and sanctifies us always, now and ever, and forever. Oh. Uh -huh.
Arise, now that we have received the divine holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly light, great and can also mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. The Lord have mercy. God and Savior, for we thank you for all the blessings you have given us and for communion in the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray, you loving Master, protect us by the shadow of your wings, and grant that until our last breath we may partake with worthily of your holy gifts for the enlightenment of soul and body, and for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven. For you are our sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Almighty Lord, in wisdom you created everything through your inexpressible providence and great goodness. You have brought us to these solemn days for the purification of soul and body, the control of passions, and the hope of resurrection. During the forty days you gave your servant Moses the tablets of the law inscribed by your divine hand. In your goodness grant that we also may fight the good fight, complete the curse of the pest, keep the faith without division, crush the heads of the, of the invisible serpents, conquer sin, and arrive without reproach to worship your holy resurrection. For blessed and glorified is your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you.